The Book of Romans, Chapter 1 Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God, which he had promised before by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. Concerning his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh, declared to be the Son of God with power according to the Spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead, by whom we have received grace and apostleship for obedience, to the faith among all nations for his name, among whom you also are the called of Jesus Christ, to all that be in Rome, the love of God, called saints, grace our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all, that your faith is spoken throughout the whole world. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers, making requests of by any means, now at length I might have a prosperous journey. By the will of God I might come to you, for I long to see you, that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift, to the end ye may be established. That is, that I may be comforted together with you by the mutual faith, both of you and me. I would not have you ignorant, brethren, that oftentimes I purposed to come to you, but was before hitherto that I might have some fruit among you also, even as among other Gentiles. I am debtor both to the Greeks and the barbarians, both to the wise and the unwise, for as much as in me is ready to preach the gospel to you, that you are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein also is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written, the just shall live by faith. The wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God hath showed it unto them for thy invisible things, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power in Godhead. They are without excuse, that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man, into birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up into vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one towards another. Men with men, working that which is unseen 
themselves to the recompense of their error, which is meat. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, Backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, investors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, knowing the judgment of God that which they commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them, and do them. Therefore, therefore thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judges, for wherein thou judges another, thou condemns thyself. For thou that judges does the same things, and thinks thou this, O man, that judges them which do such things, and you doest the same. Thou shalt escape, think you shall escape the judgment of God, or despise thou the riches of his God's goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leads there to repentance. But after thy hardness and impenitent heart treasures up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God, who will render to every man according to his deeds, to them who by patient continuance in well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality eternal life. But unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation and wrath, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil, of the Jew first and also of the Gentile, but glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good to the Jew first, and also to the Gentile. For there is no respect of persons with God. For as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law. And as many have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. For not hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. When the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, these, having not the law, are a law unto themselves, which show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness, and their thoughts, the meanwhile accusing or else excusing one another day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel. Behold, thou art called a Jew, and restest in the law, and makest thy boast of God, and knowest his will, and approve the things that are more excellent, being instructed out of the law, are confident that thou thyself are a guide of the blind, a light for them who are in darkness, an instructor of the foolish, a teacher of babes which has the form of knowledge and of the truth in the law. Thou therefore who teaches another, teaches, teaches not thyself,
thou that teaches a man should not steal, dost thou steal? Thou that says a man should not commit adultery, dost thou commit adultery? Thou that abhors idols, dost thou commit sacrilege? Thou that makes the boast of the law, breaking the law, dost thou dishonor God? For the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you, as it is written. For circumcision verily profits if thou keepest the law, but if thou be a breaker of the law, Thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. Therefore, if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, shall not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? Shall not uncircumcision, which is by nature to fulfill the law, judge thee who by the letter and circumcision dost transgress the law? For he is not a Jew which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew who is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, 